Thanks for sticking with us here on First at Four. I am pleased to welcome a very special guest. Coming fresh off of the World Series, hometown hero Evan Carter is here with us. Now, Evan, thank you so much for joining us. No, thank you. I appreciate it. It's going to be a ton of fun. Absolutely. Well, first off, tell us what was it like when you were called up to the majors to begin with? Let's go way back first. Yeah, um, just a flood of emotions. I mean, that's the goal of everybody once you uh, are in the minor leagues, just to get called up. And, uh, you know, once you kind of do, you know, it's, it's a ton of fun and you get to experience that moment. But then... Uh, the real work starts from there, you know, it's just the beginning. And let's talk a little bit, obviously the World Series just happened not too long ago. Tell me just a little bit about what it was like with that playoff run and of course winning. Yeah, I and mean, it's uh, it's a ton of fun. You know, you get to experience that with a great group of guys. Um, I was really thankful for, you know, the way that they accepted me in and kind of, you know, made me feel a part of the team from the get-go. Um, and that's, that's the the end goal of everybody you know you want to win the last game of the year and so I was fortunate enough to be able to do that at such a young age so it's going to be uh, you know hopefully the standards been set for the rest of the career I guess and let's talk a little bit about what a whirlwind the last few weeks have been for you <clears throat> yeah I and mean, it's uh gosh it's this is kind of the first moment that I've ever or that I've really had to be able to kind of sit back and you know relax a little bit mm -hmm. um, everything's kind of happened so quickly <laughs> yeah. you know it's just been like you said a whirlwind but I wouldn't trade it for anything it's been a ton of fun well speaking of whirlwind this weekend it's going to be a whirlwind in Elizabethan what does it mean for you to be back home first off coming off of that yeah. World Series win yeah I mean it's uh it's it's really cool to see how many people are supporting us and you know how many people have reached out and uh, you know kind of get to experience that with them a little bit and be able to uh, you know interact with a lot of the people that have you know reached out and supported it's going to be really fun and I know that this weekend is the big parade and you're pretty much going to be at the Grand Marshal for lack of better <laughs> word what does that mean for you to be able to do that for your hometown yeah it's really cool the amount of support that they've showed for me you know and it makes uh, my wife and I feel really special and you know appreciated um, and you know it's going to be a ton of fun to be able to get out there and uh, like I said you know get to spend some time with all the people that have supported us. Well you've already accomplished so much at a young age and tell me are you ready to retire just yet? <laughs> oh, no 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 this is just the start it's been a ton of fun. Well speaking of that is there anything that you can tip us off to as to what's next for you? Yeah I mean just uh, you know kind of enjoy the off season a little bit um, you know kind of relax and you know spend some time at home with family you know we're uh, we're away a lot, so being able to be, be here for uh, a couple of months is going to be great. Absolutely. Well, Evan Carter, thank you so much for coming home and for chatting with us and taking the time. I know you have a really busy schedule, but also congratulations on that big win. <laughs> The annual lighting of the Fraser Fir is happening on Saturday. This year, Evan Carter will be lighting the tree. The annual lighting has been a tradition since 1860. That's all happening at 5 p.m. at the historic Folsom House in downtown Elizabethton. 